I was going to let you and the viewers in on a little secret. Yes, please. What is that? Morning, Ed. Come over here in the sun, it's freezing. It is. How are you doing? Because you've been here for the last three hours. Yeah, it was absolutely freezing this morning. We were minus four. <gasps> That's Goodness. centigrade. In fact, we got some um, some comments ab about people in Canada laughing at us, saying it was cold at zero and things <laughs> like that. I think they were minus, like the equivalent of minus 15, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's been chilly this morning. Um, we've got all of the metal work laid out, got all the electric pipes almost, in, uh, conduits almost in. Um, and I've managed to get most of the concrete um, kind of, what would you call them? Shutterings, concrete shutterings. So yeah, basically lines of concrete I'm going to use to kind of pull the, the, the liquid concrete between if you, as such. You'll understand when we go over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got all, all that prepped. Um, come over here because it's a bit noisy and we can't really talk over there. No. So Cyril's getting on with mixing more concrete. Um, yeah, and we're going to pour as much as we can today. Um, it's due to rain tomorrow, but we'll check that out later on. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, we might be able to get that terrace finished. That would be amazing. Yeah. I, be think, I think it's, it's going really well. It's going quickly, but I knew it would. Same goes for this uh, entrance that we're going to be doing here. Once I've dug my trenches and I've got, uh, I've got all the like conduits, gas, electric, uh, whatever, uh, rain and whatever in, then this will go quick too, and it'll come together really quick. Then that leaves us just the inside generally, and a few little bits and bobs outside. Well, I say a few little bits and bobs, but we've got the wall, the wall, the pillars. Uh, yeah, it goes on. So yeah. We're uh, we're getting going. Let's go and have a look at the concrete. Let's go. having a rest. Oh, I've nice. come to check what you've been up to. Well, while Cyril has his lunch, I just thought I'd show you where, where we're up to. So, we've got all these different levels going on. Pretty hard to see on the video. We've got somebody doing the neighbor. work. I don't know what Yeah, the doing. neighbor is so. doing work. He's jealous, Ed. Yeah. He's like well, there's, there's only one DIY around here. Um, so, yeah, all these levels are all in now. So that means that all we have to do now is throw a load of concrete in the hole and just kind of smooth it off as we go back. And that's it, done, ready for tiling. Um, <clears throat> my edging tiles are three centimeters. Mm -hmm. And then the tiles going on here, well, I say tiles, but the travertine like, um, they're one and a half centimeters. So this had to be a bit higher than the pool. And then we're oh. going to go along after, fill this in at the same height as the uh, as the pool, and then that means that the tiles are all 
level. Okay. Because I don't want to ridge around the edge of the uh, pool. We're going to leave these light uh, kind of boxes until after we poured the rest of the concrete. And the same goes for that little bit around the edge of the pool that's not done. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to think what else I can uh, show you whilst I'm waiting. Well, we've, you've we've, finished the... Well, you, we put this here. We're just going to put the concrete in around it. And then tomorrow, before it's too dry, just pull that out. Because we don't want we don't want that staying in there like that. That's just no, but it's a just a spout. Drain. Yeah. Uh, that's obviously in and levels too. All the lights have gone in, yeah. All the light cables in the conduits. That is nice because that is, I mean. <clears throat> so you can see where the lights are going now. I've put one on right on the edge of the pool and one in the middle. So mm -hmm. we've got three along this side, three along that side, and then five along the back. It's, it's, that's really good. It's we're, we're not putting any more of these little lamps. They're going to be probably be about this height. Okay. Uh, we've not chosen them yet. We have to go to Leroy Merlin for that, I think. Um, we're not going to put any more of those along here or anything because yes. we're going to have some lights here, I think. Mm -hmm. We're going to have, probably have one above each archway, mm -hmm. one on the side here, mm -hmm. or one there, or both. We'll see. Yeah, both. Uh, because this is the barbecue area, it might be nice to have maybe one there, one here, and one there. Yeah. Just so you've got an, en enough light here and... As long as it's ambient light, you'll be able to do the barbecue, even if it's dark, so. Yeah. Oh! What? <gasps> the little... I want the, I, that is I cute. knew it was coming. I knew that it was coming. That is so cute, because this is fresh. No, it's not fresh. It oh, was fresh very... yesterday. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's fresh from yesterday. Yeah. But the cheeky little kitty cat. Yeah. That's cute. I love it. Well, I'm just wondering how many times it's going to walk across well, can when we poured since, all this. Since the cat did that, can, can little Emma put her hand somewhere? Well, no, because it's got to be tiled over. And if but still, I would like that. Can we do it? Maybe. Yes, I would love that. I find that adorable. Okay, we'll do it over here. You know why? Because she's not got her initial in that. So. Yes. Oh, she's if good. we let her do it here, it can be her... Mark, yeah. put that, because we've got yeah. Edward, Anna, Charles, Holmes. So and we're going to put Emma. Emma there. can do her hand there. Oh, that's a dark. That, that is really good. That's the best. Mm. Okay, then. We have even the spot. Mm. Perfect. So I'm going to have another five, ten minutes rest, and then boom, we're getting on with the pour. Back we're going to start in this corner here. Mm-hmm. Because all of that is uh, dry, apart from this one here. Yep. All of those are dry, and basically I need to shuffle the, the level, shuffling. yeah, the level back in two, mm -hmm. um, because I can't have anything that's above the level of these bands. Otherwise, it causes real problems for the tiling. Yeah. And as the back back breaking tiling takes ages anyway, mm. I don't want to have to take tiles up and put them back down again. Yeah, and use too much tile joint. That tile adhesive. Tile adhesive, well. The joint is... Yeah, I, know, I didn't know it was different for the sticking and different for the joints. I thought it was all the same, but no. sure. See, I didn't know that. I'm um, learning, even I'm learning. And we're going to have to have joints this time. Um, I'm not keen on putting them with joints, these travertine, but we're going to have to have joints mm -hmm. because uh, French norms say you have to have joints. That's fine. They can be a joint. It doesn't. And then we're going to do the joints probably same colour as the stone. So same cream. Everything's all the cream colour. Yeah. Just cream is harder we've to clean. We've got some um, levelling compound to put in here as well afterwards. But we're really just concentrating on the pour. But then all of this is going to need some levelling compound because I had some concrete left over from when I did my foundations over there, mm -hmm. and I paid for it uh, with the pump. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, you know what, I'm just going to pour it all here, but I didn't get it high enough. So I've not got it deep enough to put concrete and it's not at the right level. So I have to put leveling compound down. Mm. So that's another little job to do. So basically the tiles are going to come in from the edge of this door mm -hmm. and you're not going to know that there was ever a difference here. It's just going to flow through. Yeah. So. Afterwards. Yeah. 
Can you see what's happened here, Anna? Anybody got any ideas what might have happened there? No. Answer in the comments, I'm not going to say. Okay. The only thing I'm going to say is that's a soft line, the rest are all hard. I honestly don't know, but let's see if other people know. Sorry? I honestly don't know. I'm sure some people will say, oh, that's easy. Struggling. This uh, box is making it very hard. I'm trying to cheat as much as I can. How are you doing, Ed? When I started, I forgot one of the most important tools. No way. Yeah, a rake. Oh. But um, I was going to let you and the viewers in on a little secret. Yes, please. What is that? I've never done a concrete base before, a concrete pad. You haven't? No. It's your first time? Baptism of fire, I tell you. How you do your back must be. Well, well basically I've seen it done a lot. Yes. And I've done ones that don't matter. Yeah? So just quickly whiz it through. This is really important because if it's wrong, it'll be awful to get the tiles down. So a bit of jeopardy there. But well, you you can only blame yourself. You can't blame anyone else. You know why it's a baptism of fire? Why? Because we have a fall like this, mm -hmm. of course we have a fall like that, mm -hmm. yeah, turn to back yeah. to me, Yes. slowly because we don't want people feeling ill, and we have a fall like that, so everything has a fall, and that wasn't dry. Oh. So what meant was that I had to kind of, the idea is I think that you use this central one here, mm -hmm to get your fall all the way along. Well, that was fine until about here. So this area here might have a little bit of a problem. I don't mind about the lines in the concrete, that doesn't matter. But it might have a little kind of, the last thing you want is it to be rounded like that. It might have a little bit, but we're not talking a huge amount. That one went a lot easier than this one. It's a piece of cake in comparison. It's just a straight one. And then I realized, I put another triangle down here. You do, but you did, you did do the pool. This pool? Yeah. Well, yeah, but we're not tiling that, are we? Oh, so you, you, it's your first time for doing a... Tiling needs to be like a, uh, um, an ice skating ring. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, I'm not going to... The gonna pool needs to be a bit rough so that the um, thing you can... I didn't know there was different yeah, plus ones. Plus, it was all dry on the pool. And yeah. it was deeper. It's easier. This is a bit of a nightmare, to be fair. Yeah, so basically this has to be a lot smoother finish than the pool. I know it sounds odd because you think, mm. oh, the pool's smooth on the floor. Well, it's the uh, resin that makes it smooth. Okay, I just thought because we're doing 
Like we're going to put tile adhesive, with it didn't need to be <coughs> that yeah, perfect. Yeah, the tile adhesive is what, that thick? So if you've got a problem over that distance, that does that, diff that you know, you've lost your tile adhesive basically. And as soon as you have tiles going like that, you can see it straight away. Okay. Well, oh. we, I'm learning. Well, yeah, we, we're getting there anyway, that's the main thing. How is it actually looking? I mean, don't really know how it turns out till tomorrow, but I mean, it's pretty dry there already. I think it's looking good. I'm trying not to touch the bits I've already done. Yeah, no, it's looking really good. It's looking very smooth. Okay, the middle bit doesn't, I can deal with because that's definitely lower. The rest is a bit higher. I think it's very, very... I think we're getting there. <coughs> Just I might need, I might need to clean over here. Well, that's, that's old. Oh, we can't. Oh, you mean the... Uh, Just on the in the corner, that I can do that, so you can... This here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's no problem. Just that, apart from... I think it's looking really good. Have a close-up, a low-down close-up, and see what people think. I know that middle bit's looking a bit skank, but... I can fill those little... Just, I think you can do that Those little craters after. there, I can fill in with tile if you see where I'm going. Yeah, I don't think you... I think you're being very hard on yourself. Remember the tile... Oh, I was just about to say... Remember the tiles I did, and then I realised we weren't allowed to talk about that until after April. Yes, we keep that. Yeah, that's a, that's a little... I do remember, but you... Yeah, well that base was absolutely awful, and I still managed to get decent tiles on it, didn't I? Yeah. Well, this should be... So there we go. I'm better. sure, I'm sure you're going to... Have you've you done an arty kind of close-up, like a skim round on your camera? I'm not sure what more I can show concrete base. <laughs> you need to get down low. Oh goodness, I, it's just a, okay. I, it's not just; it's a big base, but I can. I'll be fixating on the little things. But right, I'm going to get on now. Okay. Enough okay, chat. it's looking very good. What are you doing? I'm, wait, with I'm waiting for my whip. I'm waiting for my mix. I heard your whip. No, no. Well, we had to stop mixing, didn't we? Cyril oh, well, stopped. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't hear anything. Ali up, Cyril. Cyril. I think one more mix and we'll be there. Yeah. And this silly question, but how come the grid doesn't go all that way? Well, this is where the fireplace is. Okay. And we've got a decent fall away from the wall and this way, so there's never ever going to be any water there. Okay, okay. This is mainly for the pool. Okay. And for this huge area of terrace that's going to be here. Okay, so for all of this. Yeah, half of it's coming this way, half going the other way. Okay. Fair enough, I didn't know. Well, I'm finding things every day with you. Discovering. Not just done out of like a whim, Anna. It's all been calculated. I know, I know, but I, I don't know most of it. It's like the first advent before it's tropical. And it's not diet. <laughs> I don't think, I think you did that. I don't think you need to diet after all the way to do it. You've done it, Ed. Yes. Part one, done. Yeah, it's a good day's work. We've got all the bits laid out and managed to get this bit poured. We'll see what it's like tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow morning. And then uh, on with this. Yeah. And the neighbour is competing with you. Yeah, all day with that silly hoovery noise. <laughs> It's okay. I'm sure he's. Uh, it's the gardener. Some... It's not the neighbour. The oh. neighbours have gardeners. Oh well. Well. So. It's looking good. Yeah, I think we we we're good there. I mean, if I don't manage to do that in an afternoon, yeah, I should get the rest pretty much finished off tomorrow. In a few days, maybe. Yeah. Okay. You you're trying to to go too hard, bit by bit. Too hard, too fast. Yes. Slow down. 
Okay. Right, let's go pick Charles up hard enough. Let's go.